She's the 47th governor of the great state of Arkansas. She's the youngest governor in the United States of America and the first female governor of our state. Having known her for many years, I know she's even more proud of a few more titles that she holds to include Christian, mom, wife, and servant leader. As my pastor would say, her walk speaks louder than her talk. She made a commitment to public safety during her campaign and followed that up with legislation like Protect Arkansas. She vowed to give law enforcement the support and backing we need to protect our citizens. Once again, she and our legislature came through with funding for two troop schools a year to get the staffing of state police back to a sufficient level. For the first time in our history, we were also given funding to pay our troopers overtime so we can keep them on the streets protecting Arkansas instead of at home burning comp time. She has secured funding for our fleet to get us out of the hole that we are in and ensure that our troopers are driving cars to keep them safe so they can keep the citizens of Arkansas safe. She's totally committed to the mission of the Arkansas State Police and has shown this repeatedly through action and not just words. Please join me in welcoming our governor, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Thank you. You know, you get nervous anytime you hear somebody say that somebody needs no introduction when they're giving your introduction. It reminds me of a time when I was a kid and I was watching my dad get ready to go up and give a speech. And the man said, I've been told that this guy needs no introduction. And that's a good thing because I've never heard of him. <laughs> Thankfully, we're already off to a much better start. Thank you so much, Colonel Hager not just for the introduction, but more importantly, for the service that you bring to our state, to the dedication that you have to state police and to the protection of every community across Arkansas. We are unbelievably grateful for the work that you do along with all of the members of state police. And let me be one of the first to say congratulations to the newest graduates of the Arkansas State Police Troop School. As governor, I get to spend quite a bit of time with state police. And as someone who had a dad as a governor for nearly 11 years, I grew up spending a lot of time with a lot of your colleagues. And I get to see every single day firsthand the high caliber of people that make up Arkansas State Police. In some ways, they kind of become like an extension of your family. And they say that you can't choose your family. But if you could, I would certainly choose the people that make up this group. The team assigned to our family could not be nicer or more gracious. And that's even while our kids pepper them with questions, shoot them with Nerf guns, and blast them with water hoses. I often tell them that we're gonna take a cross-country road trip just to see who's really dedicated. They laugh, and so far no one has asked for a direct transfer. What they don't know is that we're getting ready to do that here in a couple weeks. I'm actually just kidding, we're not. But in all seriousness, it is an absolute honor to walk side by side with our state police every day. Each of you are joining the ranks with some of the finest officers in our state. You're the individuals that are the line standing between order and chaos. And you will be in good hands under our Secretary of Public Safety. Colonel Hager. He and I agree that our police work is best when given the tools and the trust that you need to do your job. In Arkansas, there will be no blaming of our officers for society's problems. No more laws designed to hamper police and help criminals. Over the last couple of months, the state police has launched a statewide effort to bring law and order back to our streets. And my administration is doing everything that we can to help. I signed a series of bills into law during this most recent legislative session to make your job easier. We're making the first major investment in our prisons in nearly 20 years, introducing harsh new penalties against repeat offenders and drug dealers, and implementing proven practices that we know will reduce recidivism. We're also investing in our officers by launching a brand new troop school and increasing overtime pay giving you the resources that you deserve for a job well done. 
These reforms will make our state safer, but they won't be effective without brave new officers like each of you here tonight. That's why it's such an honor to be with you for tonight's ceremony and welcome you to the force. As you enter your new roles, know that Arkansas and my entire administration will always have your backs. Thank you, congratulations. We are forever in your debt. May God bless.